Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're going to, instead of going to the same places where we know we can find things, we're gonna go and just go to thrift stores that we've never been to and see if we can't find some decent jewelry. All right, so today we're gonna head out towards the Crystal Lake area. Crystal Lake is in Illinois, it's a suburb of Chicago. It's like in between Rockford and Chicago. So uh, fingers crossed, we do find things. Uh, it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily like a Libertyville area where we, it's like a, Libertyville is kind of like a high end area. It's more, I mean, there's definitely decent houses out in Crystal Lake, but uh, you know, I don't know, we'll see. Generally, you can find a little bit more at places where, I don't know how I want to phrase this correctly. Um, but if you go to like really high end places, like the thrift stores around there, the people tend to know a shit ton. But if you go to places that don't normally get a lot of high end jewelry, then they tend not to know exactly what they're looking for as far as like those types of pieces, as far as like, you know, costume jewelry, high end costume jewelry that, you know, like maybe like some Eisenberg ice or something like that. Um, so, you know, fingers crossed, we do find something like that and uh, I'll get back to you. So we're at the first place, which is gonna be Savers. I don't normally come all the way out here, and I think this place is actually rather small. So uh, I'll figure out, see if we can find nothing. All right, so the first stop was Savers, and let's just check out what we got. I spent $34. So first up here, we got a sterling silver clasp. These are faux pearls, but I just bought it for the clasp. $2.99 sterling silver clasp. You can see sterling in, oh no, maybe there's that. Sterling in there. And we got this antique one here. Nice little painted one. That's really pretty. $3.99. And then I couldn't help myself. I spent a little bit too much on this one. This is seven bucks, but it's Jesus and a crown brooch. Then we got a 10 karat gold. Yeah, 10 karat gold. And I spent $12.99 on that guy. And we got a sterling silver pair of dangle earrings, with some crystals on there. Paid $3.99 for that guy. And last but not least, an antique teacup. And I paid $1.49. All right, so that was Savers in, where is this, Crystal Lake. And I think that goes to show that you can find stuff basically anywhere. Uh, it was so funny because, you know, I, I always say, like, when you go to a thrift store, there's always people lined up out front. Today was no different. There was, like, six people, which, you know, it's not like, I don't know. It's not the nicest thrift store I've ever been into. But there's about six people, and... I would have imagined that every single person in there would have went straight for the jewelry, but not a single person, not a single person over, I, I think it was like 12 or 13 people walked in while I was standing at the jewelry and not a single person went there. Um, a little bit surprising, but, uh, you know, I, 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 uh, I don't know if that's just like, that's the group of people, but I think we all just find our niche of what we're looking for, whichever. But uh, if I had to rate Savers in Crystal Lake, I would say it is, uh, it's definitely promising. You know, if you can walk out of there with a gold necklace for $13, that shows that there is, uh, that there is things there. Um, I didn't hit it out of the park, but I spent 34 bucks. I'll easily triple or quadruple my money on those guys. I think the, I think those earrings, the ones with the big crystals, I'll test when I get home. Maybe it's crystal, maybe it's topaz, I don't know. Smoky quartz. Could be that too. Not too sure exactly what it is, but I know it's sterling, it's marked. Uh, but those alone will probably sell for around 34 bucks. So we will, 
I will uh, actually, right now I'm gonna try to find another place to go because I'm not really familiar with this area. So I'm gonna Google it and then I'll get back to you and see if we'll see. All right, so I was on my way somewhere else, but I was driving by and I actually just happened to see this place called uh, Double Take Consignment. And I'm gonna go ahead in there and see if we can't find some jewelry. All right, so I didn't film in there because it's kind of a small place and there was already like, it was a little weird because like I walked in there and then she was kind of asked me what I was looking for and I told her and then I asked her about the jewelry and the weird selection, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But in any event, I did score pretty well here and I'll just show you the receipts here. This place called Double Take uh, Consignment and I would be very nervous to take your stuff here because I spent $5.99 in that one and $5.99 in that one and this one is, it, it could be diamonds, I don't know. Let's see, that's, that right there is sterling silver, and that one is, let's see here, let's see if you guys can see the stamp on there, 10 karat. So 10 karat gold necklace, and a sterling silver one as well. It's on there, you can see the chain down there. So I spent, let's see, 5.99, 5.99, like 12 bucks, plus probably like 14 bucks total, for a very chunky, 10 karat gold, probably diamonds. We'll see, we'll check it out when we get home. Uh, pendant necklace, not bad. And that is, let's see here. Let's see, can we see it? I don't know, but in any event, we're in Crystal Lake, I believe. I believe we're still in Crystal Lake. Crystal Lake, double take, consignment store. I wouldn't take my stuff there, but definitely decent if you're looking for stuff not a lot of selection on the jewelry front but and actually i didn't even like look at anything else but uh yeah as far as jewelry goes i definitely scored and on to the next <music> Not sure how to do this by showing you with uh, one hand, but we'll see if we can do it. There you go. This 10 care one is diamonds for sure. And let's see the this one here as well. Same thing. Very nice. So here we go with the finds of the day. We got an antique necklace there. We got an antique teacup. That's pretty cool. Big fan of teacups. So right there is 10 karat gold. I paid $5.99. Yeah, $5.99 for that one. That's 10 karat gold. I see 10 karat. It weighs 2.36 grams, so it's roughly 62 bucks in gold. That one is sterling silver. There's some more sterling silver. These are actually really pretty. You can't really see too well here, but it's like a smoky quartz type deal. Then we got uh that's I actually only bought that for the class. The class is sterling. So I can put it on an antique necklace. Right there is cool rhinestone. Jesus and the crown pretty cool and that's 14 karat and I spent $12.99 that guy so I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of $48 today to get these guys not a bad day these are diamonds too by the way both those are diamonds on there all right that was the finds of the day all right so that was a good day picking places I've never been to uh we're gonna continue this and see if we can't go a little bit further next time